Pro Sports Network. Home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ron Juckett. Welcome to the program. A special one today at Tuesday lunch. We were going to do hockey. That will be pushed to Thursday afternoon. The uh, Islanders and the Canadians with special guest star Dave Gardner at the end of the first period. But as many of you know, uh, Dick Allen passed away yesterday, or on the 6th, Sunday, at the age of 78. The Phillies retired his number last year, or last baseball season, and of course with COVID, no one was able to take part of that with him at the stadium. He at least got to see his number go up at the new ballpark in Philadelphia, and if the Veterans Committee had decided to actually meet this year, as opposed to punt, there would he certainly would have been elected to the Hall of Fame, an honor that he clearly clearly deserves. So I wasn't going to do a game for Dick Allen. I, he's not in my wheelhouse. He's not in the Hall of Fame, although he does, as I said, deserve to be here. But I had two emails last night asking me for a game. And so uh, Captain Carl and Big Clue. And Big Clue suggested the game I'm about to do, which is from September 30th, 1964. If the Philadelphia Phillies win this game, they win the National League. Remember, there is no playoff or LCS. It's just a 10-team league. The Phillies are trying to hang on here, and it's a shot against the Cardinals. It's also Jim Bunning versus Kurt Simmons. So it's a pretty good matching pitching matchup for 1964. And so today, we pay tribute to the late Dick Allen, who played for the Chicago White Sox, the Oakland Athletics, the St. Louis Cardinals, and, of course, he came back to Philadelphia in 1976 and made it into the NLCS when the Cincinnati Reds swept them that particular year. So we hope that fans of Dick Allen have a, you know, remember him well. I'm trying to figure out the right words to say. And remember him as the great player that he was. And so... This is our tribute to him next on Retro Sports Network. And so Jim Bunning will take the mound. In 64, he went 19 and 8 with a 2.63 ERA and two saves. I'm on pop up. He started 39 games for the Phillies. 41 overall, and remember, on Father's Day, 64, he threw the perfect game at Shea Stadium against the Mets. And yes, it does count as a perfect game, despite the fact the Mets were not that great. In 284 innings, he allowed 248 hits, 99 runs, 83 earned, 23 homers. He walked only 46 and struck out 219. I bet the National League hit 233 against him and his whip of 1035. And that's not your favorite FM station. He's 32 in 1964. A fastball tops out at 85, and he will not favor the ground ball nor the fly ball. And this will be the lineup he will face. Kurt Flood leads off for the St. Louis Cardinals in center field. Lou Brock is in left field. He'll bat second. Billy what Bill White is at first. He'll hit third. Cleet Boy or Kenny Boyer rather. Kenny Boyer cleans up at third. Dick Grote at short will bat fifth. Tim McCarver behind the plate will hit sixth. Julian Javier at second will bat seventh. Mike Shannon, the voice of the Cardinals, now is in right field. He'll bat eighth and Kurt Simmons is on the mound. He will bat ninth. Defensively for the Phils. Johnson is in left. He is a 7-R, and we'll get the rest of that in a minute. It's Cookie Rojas in center field here at Connie Mack, a 5 and a 6 in center. And Johnny Callison is a 9-9 nine and nine in right. Richie Allen, Dick Allen is a 7 at third. Bobby Wine is an 8 at short. Tony Taylor, a 6 at second. Vic Power is an 8 at first. Gus Triandos is a 4. 
range is an eight arm behind the plate and bunning not a terrible fielder an eight with a 932 fielding percentage never mind that ticker was from a 64 replay i did a long time ago and so here it goes if the phillies win they win the national league their magic number is two so flood steps in at 311 five homers and 46 rbi Bunning deals, and there's a ground ball to third. Allen makes a poor play, and Flood will beat it out. Johnson, by the way, a 5 and a 7 in left. Here's Brock with the Cardinals at 348, 12 homers, and 45 RBI. And for the Cardinals, they get that leadoff runner on. Brock can bunt. It's a ground ball to third. Allen only has a play at first. Throw to power is in time. And Flood moves to second, one away. For Bill White at 303, 21 homers and 102 RBI. Bunning can throw up to 130 pitches. And we'll need every single one of them. Big Clue is watching this one live. Says, I used to live a stone's throw from Bunning. A super nice guy. Met him many times. Of course, he was a senator at the end of his political career. Had a long career in Washington. Kentucky, right? Pitch to White is a base hit right side. That'll score Flood easily from second. And Callison will just throw that in for the single. So Bunning... Has given up a run. What was the real score of this game? From Southgate, a Cincinnati suburb, and Bunning was a Reds fan. Pitch for the Phillies. Pitch for the Tigers. I believe was the first to win a Cy Young in both leagues. Cards won this one eight to five in real life. Kenny Boyer at 295, 24 homers, 119 RBI, and this is for the National League pennant. Pitch to Boyer is a fly ball to right. Callison will get there, and White will go back to first two out. So a full house here at Connie Mack. Dick Grote, 292, a homer, and 70 RBI. Let me check my phone because it beeped. Don't know what that was. Don't care. <laughs> Two out for Grote to give you his numbers. And the runner on first. one nothing Cardinals. Grote, base hit, left field. Johnson will throw that in. White goes to third. And the Cardinals have runners on the corners. And two out for Tim McCarver. 288, nine homers. And 52 RBI. Bunning settles in there. There's a ground ball to Taylor. Throws to power, and that will retire the side. So the Cardinals get a run on three hits and no errors. But they leave two on. We go to the bottom of the first. one nothing St. Louis. So Kurt Simmons, who pitched for the Phils at one point, went 18-9 and in 64. With an ERA of 343, he started 34 games. 244 innings, 233 hits, 24 homers. He walked 49 in an indication of the era. Only struck out 104. The National League hit 249 against him, and he had a whip of 1156, which, again, you should not use for your password. He is 35 years old. He is a fastball pitcher and a flyball pitcher. And that fastball tops out at 82. By the way, Chamber of Commerce night in Philadelphia, 80 degrees, and the wind blowing in at 4 from left field. Phillies already behind the 8 ball. Have Cookie Rojas leading off in center field. Tony Taylor at second will bat second. Johnny Callison, who walked off the All-Star game at Chase Stadium back in July, will hit third. Mr. Allen... Will clean up at third. Johnson will bat fifth and play left field. And I don't remember his first name. It obviously begins with an A. 
Big Power at first will bat sixth. Gus Triandos, the former Oriole catcher, will bat seventh. Bobby Wine at short will bat eighth. And Jim Bunning, who threw 17 pitches, will bat ninth. It is Brock in left. I can't show you his numbers because Kurt Simmons' picture is in the way. Kurt Flood is a 10 and a 9 in the center. Mike Shannon a 6 and a 7 in right. Kenny Boyer a 9 at third. Dick Grote, who I've erroneously called Dr. Strange Glove about 50 times on this channel, is not. That is not Dr. Strange Glove. Ron. Bad Ron. Bad Ron. Julian Javier is a 9 at second. And Bill White at 10 at first. McCarver, a good catcher behind the plate. He's a 9 and an 8. And Kurt Simmons, an 8 on the mound with a 966 fielding percentage. Rojas at 291. Two homers and 31 RBI. And Simmons hits a base hit in the left field, and that will be a single. Brock is a 6 and a 5 in left. So the tying run is already on for Tony Taylor at 251 for homers and 46 RBI. So Simmons can go about 135 pitches. The computer will take care of him. Taylor, little number down to first. White goes only to Simmons. That was his only play. The underhand works, and Rojas is on second. One out. So Taylor does his job. Here's Johnny Callis in a monster year in 64. 274, 10 triples, 31 homers, and 104 RBI. So Rojas on second, the tying run here in the first. Pitch to Callis, and there's a fly ball to right. Shannon goes back. That's off the wall. Rojas will score. Callison is in the second standing, and that hit the spike fence off one of those slats high in right field. Good morning, Lorenzo. And so Callison is on with a double, and we're tied at one. And here's the man of the hour, Richie Allen, as he was known in 1964, 318. 29 homers and 91 RBI. He scored 125 times and struck out 138. We played some football manager last night, Lorenzo. Er, we read a lot of tutorials last night playing football manager. So Allen digs in. 1-1 one, one to score. One out, bottom of the first. Simmons delivers, and Richie strikes out. He looked at a 3-2 in there at the knees for strike three. So two out for Alex Johnson from the Cardinals. How about that? 303 must have been a late-season pickup. <laughs> Ricky's right. I didn't realize I had done that until Mr. Gardner told me that this morning. If a game makes Ron use the F-bomb on a live stream... You know it's not a great... No, the game itself is great. Frustrated the daylights out of me. <laughs> Johnson, 303, four homers, and 18 RBI, and 109 at-bats. Pitch to Johnson. There's a line drive left center field. Callison will score. Grote got a late jump, and the Phillies go up 2-1. to one. And so this game is for the National League pennant. Here's Vic Power, came over from the Kansas City A's. 208, 40, uh, no homers, and three RBI. Yeah, I'll play some tonight. But I took Celtic and nearly lost the inter-squad game. Fun, fun, fun. We pulled that one out, though. So 2-1 to one the score here. Pitch, throw to first, Johnson's back. So the Phillies, yeah, yep, yep. Phillies lead 2-1. to one. Power, that's going to drop in for a base hit in the left center field. Johnson scattles over to third, and that will bring up Triandos, the catcher, to 58 homers and 33 RBI. So runners on the corners, two out, and that's the fourth hit 
It's like one of Gardner's games here, huh? So Simmons has been rattled here in the first. Pitch to Triandos. There's a fly ball to left. Back will go Brock. Brock will turn and watch it go. A three run over by Gus Triandos, and it's five to one Philadelphia. Let's watch it again. Got all of that one, and Brock was hoping there was a bag of wise chips at the end of that ad to munch on something. Triandos hit that one into the wind, and it's 5-1. to one. Yep, the first inning, and they've already matched their actual run total in this game in real life. So if Bunning can hang in there, the Phillies can win the pennant. Bobby Weiner, 212, four homers and 34 RBI. And to paraphrase Shirley Bassey, a bit a little bit of history not repeating. Wine, there's a base hit in the right field. Shannon will scoop it up and that'll bring up Jim Bunning. 121, no homers and eight RBI. Can tell you once the game. Action PC 2021 goes live. It'll be an opening day triple header. We'll break it into two segments. Yep, the pitcher, pitcher getting Christmas tree. Lit right up. During the day, we will do the opener between the Cleveland Indians and the St. Louis Browns. So, St. Louis Brown fans, all one of you, you get your guaranteed appearance in the first game of the year. And then at night, the Phillies, who were a very good team in 49, host or go to Boston to beat the Braves or to play the Braves. So, the Braves and the Phillies open with a double header. So, you get a triple header, you get one game at lunch and then two games at night. Don't know the date yet. Pitch to Bunning is a ground ball base hit. Up the middle, past a diving Javier, and Wine will hold it second. And so seven hits as the Phillies bat around here in the first. Rojas singled and scored his first time up. Simmons, 27 pitches, two-thirds of an inning, seven hits, five runs all earned. And he does have a strikeout. His whip is ten and a half. Pitch to Rojas. There's a slow roar to hot Grote. Flips to Javier for the out. And the side is finally retired. Goodness gracious me. Five runs on seven hits and no errors. We go to the second. Five to one Philadelphia. So Javier, Shannon, and Simmons... Javier at 241, 12 homers and 65 RBI. And if you're wondering the actual date of opening day 49 for the American League and such, it was April 19th. Pitch to Javier is a base hit right center field. He's going for two, the throw to second, not in time. So the pitchers, do you, do you realize this is for the pennant gang? Here's Mike Shannon. Looks so so young there. 261, 9 homers, and 43 RBI. Up the middle, Rojas will die. Does he get it? No. Javier will round third and score. Shannon's digging for third. The throw to Allen is not in time, and it's 5-2 to two, Philadelphia. So Shannon's on with a triple. Here's Simmons at 106 and 6 RBI. You're not going to squeeze here, are you? Gets away from Triandos and Shannon will score. It's 5 to 3. Yeah, and PC world time and situation do not matter. My goodness. Sarah said, let me know when you're done. I said, it's baseball. It'll only take an hour. You know, I'm a big fan of Uncle Charlie and his Murphy and his law, and I guess I'm getting bit by it today. 
Pitch to Simmons is a ground ball to power. Takes it to the bag for the out. One away for Flood. Bunning through nine batters. 31 pitches. An inning and a third. Five hits. And his whip is 375. I feel like I'm playing the prices right here. Flood singled and scored in the first. This time around, he singles into left field. So six hits for the Cardinals, seven for the Phils. Here's Brock. He's 0 for 1. Cardinals got one in the first and two so far in the second. And that is up the middle for a base hit. So the tying run is on base for Bill White, who singled and drove in a run. She said 8-5 to five was the real-life final score. Might get that in a third. There's a fly ball right center. Rojas is there. Two out. A frozen rope. Two out for Boyer, who's 0 for 1. Flood on second, and Brock on first, and Brock has mercurial wings on his shoes. Pitch to Boyer, fouled away on a 3-1, and the count is full. So full count, two out, top the second, Cardinals two in, 5-3, Philadelphia. Popped up. Center field, Rojas will make the catch. Deep breath time. Two runs, four hits, and no error as we go to the bottom of the second. It's Philadelphia 5, St. Louis 3. So Tony Taylor is 0 for 1. Simmons threw 30 pitches in the first, bunting 43 through 2. Callison and Allen to follow. Pitch to Taylor. There's a base hit left field. So apparently everyone took their Flintstones before playing this one, except the pitchers. Here's Callison. Doubled, drove in a run, and scored. Throw to first, Taylor back. Pitch to Callison. Snap throw to first, Taylor back. So they pitch out. Taylor's not going anywhere. The count is a ball and no strikes. Lefty versus lefty. Struck him out. He swung on and missed a 1-2 at 82. And there's one out for Allen, who struck out his first time up. Right, your tribute game. Do something there, Mr. Allen. Kurt Simmons has given up eight hits in an inning and a third. Throw to first. Tony Taylor is laughing. Like, I'm not going anywhere. And Richie really can't hit and run. He's a 4 out of 10. Big Clue, who picked out this game, said Allen went 2 for 4. The best individual performance of the day. Popped up. Center field. Flood runs over. 2 out. For Alex Johnson. Singled. Scored. And drove in a run. 5-3, Phillies, bottom of the second. Throw to first. Tony Taylor is back. I, wow. No, this one makes a lot of sense because I wouldn't know where to start with Allen. I probably would have gone with whatever his best OPS season was and then picked out a game from there. Pitch to Johnson. Struck him out. Simmons got him on a 1-2 curveball swinging. No runs. One hit. They strand a man after two. 5-3 Philadelphia. So the Cardinals, three runs, seven hits, no errors. And they've left four on. The Phillies, five runs, eight hits, no errors. And they've stranded three. Grote. Singled his first time up. Bunning. Up the middle. Taylor behind the bag over to first. One out. Tribe fan says I might do the random Dodgers game in 71 if you end up doing a Seaver 71 replay. That'd be cool. McCarver is 0 for 1. Javier on deck here in the third. Up the middle and Bunning has it bounce off of him. 
He muffed it. She could watch more hockey. And so McCarver reaches on the first error of the game. Yeah, Allen's at third. He's a seven range in a 921 fielding percentage, which is better than Butch Hobson. But no one's going to confuse him for Brooks Robinson. Javier doubled and scored his first time up in the second. And he hits this one to Taylor. Goes to wine for one over to power. That should be two. And it is. And so that'll do it. Simmons is done. Roger Craig's coming in. The pitch for the Cardinals. We go to the bottom of the third. No runs, no hits in the air. It doesn't hurt. After two and a half, it's 5-3 Philadelphia. So Roger Craig went 7-9 and nine for the Cardinals with five saves and an ERA of 325. In 166 innings, he allowed 180 hits, 39 games, 19 starts. Allowed 16 homers, walked 35, and struck out 84. Craig is 34. He's a fastball pitcher that tops out at 82 and a fly ball pitcher. And it's interesting the computer went that route because Craig is scheduled to bat second here in, in the next inning. Big power. Singled and scored his first time up. It's not hit righties very well. Yep, this is the Cards team that ended the Yankee dynasty in 64. Remember, the Dodgers surprised the Yankees in 63, and the Cardinals pushed them over the ledge after 64. The Yankees cratered. Pitch to power is a ground ball up the middle for a base hit. So that's the ninth hit for the Phils, and we're only in the third inning. Here's Triandos, who smashed a three-run homer over the Y sign in left center field. Some of the best barbecue chips ever made. Craig throws to first and power is back. Yep, you did. You softened him up. That 64 race in the American League is pretty good. The Orioles and White Sox took the Yankees to the last week of the season. And, of course, the National League race is legendary. Pitch to Triandos is a line drive to short. Grote is there, one out. Brings up Bobby Wine who singled. Enough people asked me about last night's stream that I wasn't going to post it on YouTube, but I will now. Wine. Singled. Do I bunt here? Big Clue was good. He sat there and was patient for a long time. But as Ricky said, and Dave told me this morning, I did drop an F-bomb. I was not a happy camper. Pitch to Wine is a base hit left side. Power will hold at second. And so Roger Craig seems to have the stuff that Kurt Simmons had. Belligerent. Or brilliant. The Cardinals are missing Brolio. Yes, they are. Although Brock is one for two in this game. So Bunning will bunt here. White and Boyer, who can field, play in. Bun is down, and Carver throws to Javier covering, and that is the second out. But power on third, wine on second for Rojas. Cookie, one for two. He is singled and scored. Part of that five-run outburst in the first. Pitch to Rojas. Runners go. Fly ball to left. Brock says, I got it. And that will retire that soon. No runs, two hits, no errors. After three, Philadelphia five, St. Louis three. Yeah, I figured I would just for you, Lorenzo. I got it. I figured I'd share. Apparently I shared a little too much. Here's Mike Shannon. Tripled, scored, and drove in a run. Craig is on deck. We'll see what they did for him. Pitch from Bunning. Strike three. He got him on an 0-2 swing, and that's the first strikeout for Bunning. As we start the top of the fourth. Roger Craig, if he bats, he only threw 15 pitches in the bottom of the third. 208, no homers, and three RBI. 
He stays in the game and strikes out. He swings and misses at an 84-mile-an-hour fastball. And my goodness, we might have a 1-2-3 inning. So Bunning threw 18 batters, 59 pitches, 3 and 2 thirds innings, 7 hits, and those are his first two strikeouts. All three Cardinal runs are earned. Here's Flood. Kurt is singled both times up and scored once. Pitch into right. Callison has it to retire the side. So, yep, the Cardinals go down in order. And Gene Mock breathes a sigh of relief. After three and a half, it's still the Phillies five, the Cardinals three. So Tony Taylor, Johnny Callison, and Richie Allen here in the fourth. Tony is one for two, and he did that off of Kurt Simmons. Taylor in the left. Foul. Somebody from Woodbury, New Jersey made that catch. This is for the National League pennant. And everybody here at the old yard is on pins and needles. Pitch to Taylor. Base hit right field. Shannon throws it to second. Taylor is in with a double. So that hit off the bottom of the wall. And a good throw from Shannon, and Taylor had to slide in. Here's Callison. Johnny doubled. He's one for two. He is also struck out. A run scored and an RBI. Pitch. There's a fly ball left center field. Flood has good range, and he'll make the catch. K Taylor will bluff. And I got to get rid of the troll. Because really, with a number like that, that's nothing but a troll. Here's Allen. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Taylor on second, one out. Craig in the second inning of work. And there's a fly ball to left, but Brock will hold that one in. And Taylor will bluff. And not go. He had a good chance. Brock has a decent arm. And you don't want to be the third out of the inning. Alex Johnson won for two. Alex has singled. Struck out. Drove in a run and scored. Runner goes. Strike three. A one-two in there at the knees. And Johnson watched it. No runs. A hit. No errors. We go to the fifth. 5-3 Philadelphia. So Brock, White, and Boyer to face Bunning. Brock is one for two. And he'll drop one down and nobody will pick that one up. Power does, but Brock was already there. And so the Cardinals have a bunt single for Billy White, who is one for two with a single and an RBI. Phil Rizzuto, by the way, not watching this game in New York, isn't paying attention anyway. But somehow a cannoli got down 95 and the Jersey Turnpike. Not sure how that happened. Throw to first. Brock is back. Pitch to White. There's a ground ball to Wine. Taylor for one. They get Brock. And they're going to double up White. How about that? What a play by Wine to get the second out, to get the double play. So Wine flipped it to Taylor. And it should have been the other way around. Because there is a Taylor Wine. Wink, wink. So Wine flipped it to Taylor, and Tony with a strong throw to first. It goes 6-4-3 on the card, two out for Kenny Boyer. It was 0 for 2. Bunning trying to pitch the Phillies into the World Series. There's a base hit right side. So Boyer is on with a two-out single. The ninth hit for St. Louis. Dick Grove, 1 for 2. Bunning and Triandos. 
Power Triandos and Wine coming up. Pitch to Groat. There's a base hit into center field. So Boyer will hold. That double play looms very large now as the score trying run is on first. For Tim McCarver, who's old for two. McCarver, close your ears, Ricky. Walked off one of those World Series games with a home run. Pitch to McCarver. Ground ball up the middle. Bunning knocks it down. Throws to first, and that will retire the side. Halfway home in the Dick Allen tribute game. No runs, three hits. The Cardinals leave two on. You are about to get the commercial. Lorenzo needs to sub because his sub has expired. 5-3, Philadelphia. So if you join this late, here's how we got here. Bill White singled home Kurt Flood to make it 1-0 in the first St. Louis. Then Philadelphia put sent 10 to the plate in the bottom of the first. Johnny Callison doubled home Cookie Rojas to tie the game at 1. Alex Johnson singled home Callison to make it 2-1 Philadelphia. And then the old Wiley Vet, Gus Triandos, with a three-run shot to make it 5-1 Philadelphia. In the second, St. Louis made it 5-3. to three. Mike Shannon tripled to score Julian Javier. And then Shannon scored on the pass ball by Triandos to make it 5-3. to three. Cardinals had three hits in the fifth and could not score. So Kurt Simmons lasted all of two innings. Eight hits, five runs all earned. The homer to Triandos and struck out three. Craig, two innings of shutout relief. He's allowed three hits. Bunning, not covering himself in clover. Five innings, ten hits, three runs all earned with two strikeouts. So power, Triandos, and wine here. In the bottom of the fifth power is two for two. Has single twice and scored. Got him. 2-2, swung on and missed, and Craig has the first out here in the fifth. Triandos, that big three-run homer in the first, gave the Phils a 5-1 lead. In the center, flood, two out. Today, December 8th, 2020, is the 40th anniversary of the death of John Lennon. I was asleep. Bobby Wine is due for two. I remember hearing about it on the radio when my alarm went off at 6.30 the next morning. Yeah, Chuck Yeager, God rest his soul, passed away this morning at the age of 97. Pride of West Virginia. And, of course, the first man ever to break the sound barrier. They didn't think that you'd be able to survive that. They weren't sure. And Jaeger, being the test pilot that he was, did. He got into one of those big old fighter planes in his 90s. There's video of that on YouTube. Maybe it was his 89th birthday. Pitch to wine is a fly ball left center field. Flood has it. Net will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the sixth. Five, three, Philadelphia. So Javier, Shannon, and Craig spot. Craig has thrown 44 pitches, but has done yeoman's work since Kurt Simmons was yanked in the second. Javier, one for two. He is doubled and scored. In the center, one out. Rojas is there. Mike Shannon tripled. He's one for two. He also struck out one of the two for Bunning. He scored a run and drove in a run. 
And this time he pops one left right side, Taylor on the grass, two out. So Bunning has settled in. And let's see what they do with Roger Craig, who's 0 for 1. He stays in the ball game and strikes out. A three and but why didn't they pinch hit? I don't get that logic at all. Why have Craig hit if they're gonna change the pitcher anyway? I don't run the computer. I'm playing against the computer. No runs, no hits, no errors. After five and a half, it's five three Philadelphia. And yep, Mike Quayar, future Baltimore Oriole legend, will come in. Quayar pitched for the Astros. How'd I know that? Because of his picture. And I don't remember Quayar much at all. The lefty. 32 appearances, 7 starts for Crazy Horse. He was a 69 Cy Young Award winner. 5-5 five and five for the Cardinals with 4 saves and a 4.5 ERA. In 72 innings, he allowed 80 hits, 8 homers, 33 walks, 56 strikeouts. 27 years old, so an established lefty. He throws the Scroogey at 9 and the fastball at 90 and does not favor... The fly ball or the ground ball. So Bunning, who will stay in the game at 96 pitches and a single, Rojas and Taylor to face Cuellar. And Cuellar will bat in the nine hole. No changes for the Cardinals. Bunning into left center field for a base hit. Brock will pick it up. And Bunning is on with a single. Jim Bunning is two for two. You know what? The only run, runner or batter for Philadelphia that has not reached base yet is the man we're honoring, Richie Allen. He's 0 for 3. Cookie Rojas is 1 for 3. He has singled and scored. He drops that one. White will pick it up. He'll run it over to first, and Bunning will go to second. Hey, at least they're winning this game. Tony Taylor is two for three. He has singled and doubled. That typical, yeah. Uh, Shula lost his, I've had a couple lose. Dale Lonsdale lost his, forced a game seven in the 80 World Series. Kobe Bryant nearly fouled out of his. You ask for Memorial Games, and there's no setting here. Like, wait to dice for for the Phillies or something like that. Taylor is singled and doubled. I still say the 73 Dolphins were better. In the left center, Flood goes back. Bunning keeps running, but he'll go back and will not tag. Two out for Johnny Callison. One for three, a double, an RBI, and a run scored. This time around, he strikes out. Got him on an 0-2 in there at the knees, and that will retire the side. No runs, a hit, the Phillies leave a runner on. We go to the seventh, 5-3, Philadelphia. So, top of the lineup to face Bunning. 27 batters deep for Jim, 96 pitches, 6 innings. Ten hits and three strikeouts. Flood is two for three. Is single twice and scored. All three runs for the Cardinals are earned. Fouls it back. And the count is 0-2. So that Blackhawk Canadians game. No, it's the Islanders. It's the Islanders and the Habs Thursday with a special edition of the Coach's Corner at the end of the first period. Flood, it's a ground ball to power. Underhands it to Bunning for the out. Brings up Lou Brock, who's two for three. Has singled twice, and yep, they could. Cardinals could have used Ernie Brolio, but Brock, as I said, is two for three. Bunning delivers. There's a ground ball to Taylor. He throws it over to first, two out. So after the rocky start, when the Cardinals got three runs in the first two innings, Bunning has done his job. Here's Bill White, one for three, has singled, driven in a run, and grounded into a double play. Not necessarily in that order. 
Liner to second. Taylor makes the catch. Stretch time, 5-3. So Allen is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Cuellar in his second inning of work. Base hit left field. So Richie has his first hit of the ball game, and the Phillies have 13 in total, and everybody's reached. Here's Alex Johnson. He's 1 for 3. Single. Struck out twice. Scored and has an RBI. Phillies could use an insurance run, and remember... As Big Clue picked this one out, this is for the National League pennant. The winner goes to the World Series. 72 degrees, and that wind has stayed steady at 4 miles an hour, blowing in from left field. You can smell the Ys and the Alpo from there. Pitch to Johnson. There's a base hit left center field. Flood will grab it. Allen goes to third, and the Phillies have runners on the corners for Vic Power who was two for three. Normally you'd pinch hit here. Power has struck out single twice and scored, but he hits lefties at a 256 clip. Nobody out, and the catcher, Triandos, is on deck. Power. Line drive to Grote, who leaps and makes the catch. One out. So everybody stays put. Triandos... Going to pinch it for the catcher here. He's had a big day. Boyer, Grote, and McCarver for the Cardinals in the eighth. Got him! Cuellar got him on an 0-2 fastball at the knee. Strike three. That brings up Bobby Wine, who is two for three, a single twice. Allen on third. Johnson on first. Pitcher spot due up next. Wine chops that to third. Boyer goes for the easy out at second, and the cart and the Phillies are redone in the inning. After seven, no runs, two hits, the Phillies strand two. They still lead, however, five to three. Tom Seaver, by the way, lost his tribute game as well. So it's tough. To win big games. Boyer is one for three. Bonin giving me the fatigue warning as we start the eighth. Pitch to Boyer. Struck him out. Uh, two, two. Swung on and missed outside. One out. That's four for Bunning, and the Phillies are five outs away from the pennant. Grote is two for three. Dick has single twice. Ground ball to first. Power. Two out. So here's McCarver. He is 0 for 3. Five runs, 14 hits, an error for the Phillies. They've left nine runners on. The Cardinals, three runs, 10 hits, and nowheres, and they've left six on. Bunning deals. Struck him out. A uh, 2-2 two, two on the outside corner, and the Phillies are three outs away from the pennant. No runs, no hits, and no errors. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's 5-3. Barney Schultz coming in to pitch for the Cardinals. Schultz, 1-3 with 14 saves and a 1-6-5 ERA. 49 innings. 35 hits, a homer. He walked 11 and struck out 29. He only threw in 30 games. But he arrived in St. Louis on August 1st. He is a knuckleball pitcher and a ground ball extreme pitcher at 81. And Barney 
is as old as a dinosaur that's not named after him. He's 37. So let's see who we got to face the righty. Everybody sing along now. Who can hear the righty? And they're going to go with Tony Gonzalez, who hit 278, four homers and 40 RBI. 5 3, Philadelphia, bottom of the eighth inning. And our tribute game to Richie Allen. Pitch to Gonzalez is ball four. So Schultz lost him. On a 3-1, and now I'll bring up Rojas, who went, it was one for four, a single and a run scored. Throw to first, Gonzalez is back. Javier Shannon in the pitcher spot in the ninth for St. Louis. Schultz deals. There's a ground ball to White. He'll run it to the bag himself. Gonzalez goes to second. And that is one out for Tony Taylor, who is two for four. He has singled and doubled, and Gonzalez has good speed. That's a big insurance run. Google Brian Onora in my free time. Okay, he was a Major League Baseball umpire. If I know what happened, I don't know what happened. Okay. Am I going to get in trouble for saying that? Pitch to Taylor. There's a little ground ball to Javier. Deep in the hole. Throws to first for the out. Gonzal or, yeah, Gonzalez moves to third. And that will bring up Callison. Allen on deck. Callison, one for four. Has struck out twice and doubled. 5-3, Philadelphia, bottom of the eighth. And they're going to walk him. Well, isn't that convenient? So then they're going to walk Callison. Oh, okay. Not something you'd hear in a fort. Okay, I won't go any further than that. Allen is one for four. He has singled and struck out. Is he calling this game? Who? Pitch to Allen. Here's a liner in the left center field. Gonzalez will score. Callison goes to third. Allen goes two for five. And it's 6-3 Philadelphia. And that will bring up uh, that ump. Oh, I don't know if he is or not. Someone can look on baseball reference. That's all there. O'Brien oh, Onora is a current umpire. Oh, dear Lord. What the heck happened? Alex Johnson is two for four. He is single twice, struck out twice. Pick your poison. RBI and a run scored. Pitch to Johnson. There's a ground ball to Grote. He'll go to Javier for the sure out. And that will retire the side. Don't say anything out loud, Lorenzo. It may not be suitable for all audiences. One run, one hit, no errors. We go to the ninth. The Phillies are three outs away. 6-3. So Gonzalez stays in the game in center field. He is a seven and a four. And we're going to go with Ed Roebuck. To lock it down. Five and three with 12 saves and an ERA of 222. In 77 innings, he allowed 55 hits. He walked 25 and struck out 42. The old Brooklyn Dodger pitcher is 32 years old. He is a fastball pitcher at 83 and is a standard pitcher. He doesn't favor the ground ball nor the fly ball, and the National League hit 196 off him 
in 60 appearances. If he can retire the next three batters without giving up three runs, the Philadelphia Phillies will have won the National League. Javier is one for three with a double and a run scored. And I am now curious as anything uh, why I shouldn't look that up during the game. Roebuck. There's a ground ball to wine over to first, two outs away. Six runs, 15 hits and error for the Phillies. They've left 11 on. The Cardinals, three runs, 10 hits, no errors, and they've left six on. Big clue, hope you like this one. Allen, of course, will be our MVP, two for five with an RBI. Shannon had a big triple in the first and scored, or in the second. That must have been the second. And the Cardinals were held off the board ever since. He also has a strikeout. Up the middle, Gonzalez, two out. And so here's the pitcher's spot. Marnie Schultz better not be hitting here. It'll be Bob Skinner, the former Pittsburgh Pirate. Skinner? 271. Once in a while we get this right. And remember, big clue picked this game. Give him a yep, give him a call. Lorenzo, your sub ran out, by the way. 271, a homer and 16 RBI. So everybody's standing now. The Phillies are on the verge of a pennant, and it will be their first since 1950. And lo and behold, they will play the same team that they played in 1950. The New York Yankees. Pitch to Skinner. Ground ball to wine on the grass. Over to first. It's over. The Phillies have won the National League. History does not repeat. The Phillies win this one 6-3. to three. Ed Roebuck, not Sears, gets the save. And that's it. Thank you, sir. Oh, he gifted one to Big Clue. You get an emote. Twenty twenty pajamas. Oh. And Lorenzo is given twenty five or twenty four gift subs. Yep, all is well with the world now. And you get another emote. How about that? So Lorenzo is now sub for eight straight months. So six runs, 15 hits, and an error for Philadelphia. Three runs, 10 hits, and no errors for St. Louis. Kurt Simmons takes the loss. I haven't seen it, Tribe fan, so. I'll look it up. We're almost done anyway. Oops. Two, run, two innings, eight hits, five runs, all earned. A homer and three strikeouts for Simmons. Craig, three innings of shutout baseball. Quayar, oh wait, it's over here in the corner. I'll look in a second. Quayar, two innings of shutout. Would you stop going in and out? Shutout baseball. And Barney Schultz gave up the insurance run to Richie Allen. Bunning, eight innings. He gets the win. Ten hits. Three runs all earned. And he struck out five. And Andy Roebuck, an inning, a clean inning to lock down the pennant. And so, yep, one of those rare times where the tribute game actually benefits the person we're paying tribute to. Richie Allen deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, and I hope that the Vets Committee, when they get together next year, makes that happen. That should have happened when he was alive. No excuse for that. Godspeed, sir, and thanks to Big Clue for the suggestion. The final score, the Phillies won the pennant. They beat the Cardinals 6-3. to I'm Ron Juckett. 
We'll talk to you Thursday for some hockey, if not sooner. Until then, bye-bye.